Hey guys and welcome aboard this China Eastern Airlines business class flight from JFK to Shanghai then Hong Kong on the A330. This is the menu for the flight. They offer four different options. They were offering a dinner, a lunch, a breakfast, and a mid-flight snack with a whole bunch of different options ranging from sandwiches, the entrees, um, the offer about four different appetizers four different entrees and they have a very wide selection of wines i do want to apologize for the orientation of the video it's not horizontal it was vertical for the first couple of seconds of the video but shortly you'll be able to see everything horizontal so here we have the amenity kit it's provided by luacotain we have an eye mask a couple more options just give me a second here your typical hairbrush toothpaste and other items included were floss earplugs toothbrush and of course your typical Luacotain lip balm face cream and hand cream it's a pretty decent um, amenity kit surprisingly the flight was two thousand five hundred dollars I found it very reasonable being that it was over a 24-hour trip from JFK to Shanghai there's about 16 hours um, oh look they also include some slippers which I thought was a nice touch especially going to the laboratories which we will see coming up next they also offer some noise canceling headphones which are pretty awful but most airlines have awful supposedly what they call noise cancelling headsets the ife system was very good extremely responsive many different options though so this was my flight back in 2020 pre-covid which was neat because i was able to enjoy the full experience of flying china eastern airlines pre-covid but i had to get quick shots because the flight attendants are extremely strict with recording now let's go on to the meal service so the typical hot towel with the branded plate which i thought was a great touch and then we got some mixed nuts my typical gin and soda my usual go-to drink now for the appetizer i went with the duck salad it comes with some odd dressing and i think those aren't scallops I forgot the name of it, but it was very tasty, very fresh. Um, it's actually some of the best food I've had on board an aircraft. Now for the entree, which you'll see coming up now, I got the duck. Duck happens to be my favorite plate. Oh, and these metal chopsticks are super cool. As I was saying, duck happens to be my favorite plate. This was oddly very delicious, tender, juicy. Um, totally meets my criteria for duck, especially at 38,000 feet. A super nice cheese board and fruit. Of course, I didn't eat all of this. I just ordered it so that I can post it and I shared some of it with my sister who came with me on this trip. Um, but they had a very wide array of cheeses now since it was a night flight the flight attendants did hide but as soon as you call they're there for you very nice flight attendants now the bathroom is very spacious the bed like i said i have to get quick shots it turns into a full bed very comfortable the pillow's great I actually went to the bathroom and they had a turn down service and i came back to these chocolates which was a nice touch once again, here's another shot of the bathroom. Very spacious. And of course, the slippers, as you can see. Oh, there they are. Very nice touch because airplane laboratories can get pretty gross. Now, we're already in Asian airspace. So I ordered myself a mid-flight snack. Or not mid-flight, but almost arriving. It was what appeared to be a chicken sandwich. It wasn't that good, I can't lie. I ordered some more cheese, because I did not like that. Let's 
you can see, we are approaching Shanghai Pudong Airport. I'm also going to be showing the lounge coming up very soon. The food in the lounge was absolutely delicious. We're about an hour and 40 minutes away. And like clockwork on any flight, you usually get a pre-landing snack or course in business class and meal. So we're an hour and 20 minutes away and it's time for breakfast. Now I've only seen this on one other airline, which is Qatar Airways. It's the best airline I've flown in are waffles. Now, while that did sound very appetizing, they were very soggy. The cereal was already served with milk. But anyway, here we are, we arrived in Pudong. I'm gonna show you guys the lounge and then we're gonna jump on a quick flight to Hong Kong where I believe you shall also see the meal service. lounge is very spacious i liked it because there wasn't a lot of people now the year they have fridges full of water cokes all that stuff an espresso machine and they also had a hot bar it was kind of late afternoon i want to say 3 4 p.m so the hot bar wasn't the best but it offered enough food like noodles different kinds of chickens pork um it was very tasty. Like I said, I ate like a pig on the plane, so I wasn't full at all. Um, I also had some fruit, but that's some kind of stew, some noodles, potatoes, sausage. That was definitely not appetizing at all. And that was some pork. Now here we are back on the aircraft from Shanghai Pudong Airport to Hong Kong. It's about a two hour flight not so bad a lot of leg room it was neat because we actually got the same airplane um, which i loved especially for a two-hour flight and hey look another pair of slippers So I had to be quick with the meal service because the flight attendants were not happy I was filming, but it was some dim sum and fried rice with shrimp. Here's the arrival into Hong Kong. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please subscribe and follow me on my social media platforms. Thank you so, so much. And British Airways 777 Club World coming up next in the next video. Thank you.